Hey y'all. So we've had day three of construction and I just want to give you a quick rundown on what's happening. Not too much different. Uh, the framing is basically done and uh, electrical has started. And so let's take a look at what's going on. So Here's that wall. This was done the other day, or yesterday, I guess. And now I have a door frame. And this fourth wall. And I think I showed y'all this little shut-off valve. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the patootie, but we're working around that. And I've got these pipes that we're going to soffit around. And then basically the same thing going on in the control room has a door frame. The control room has a little bit of a funky thing going on with its wall because if you notice there's, there's a little L shape to my basement, right? And so what we did, the internal wall of the room is going to parallel, you know, go, go right up against the foundation wall. But then when the foundation takes that curve off, I don't know if you can get a good sense of what I mean here. Let me go over here. See what I'm saying? See how the room goes down that way, but then there, there's a wall that's Closer this way. So they did a double stud wall here. Just for, honestly, I think that was just what made the most sense in terms of getting everything straight and square. And this room has a door frame too. Yay, door frame. Uh, door frames really make it seem like real rooms to me. So, so the framing is pretty much done. We adjusted my stairs down. The stairs just used to come straight down and land over here. And we decided to give, so we could bring this wall farther this way. We added a new landing and brought the stairs down like towards where we are now. So the stairs you come down and then you do like a U-turn back. And then the electrical has started. You heard that water, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> so I have a new uh, sub panel here, which will be just for the two rooms. And I think that was most of what he did yesterday. We've also got the start of sconces. How exciting is that? We've got a whole electrical layout written on the floor, <laughs> which is very exciting. Uh, it was it was fun planning that out with the electrician. We've got uh, there's so many cool things going on that I will explain to you as they happen about how both rooms are going to be tied to the. Uh, gig fiber internet that I have and um, and both rooms are going to be tied to each other with USB data uh, <clears throat> Ethernet and uh, there'll be four XLR pass-throughs as well as I think the electrician called it a smurf tube so if I ever need anything passed from this room to that that I haven't got I can just snake it through. Um, but that's the update for today. Um, not, not too exciting. The framing was mostly done the other day, so now it is done. <laughs> um, and the electric has started. Um, and the framing, oh, I have the, I have the invoice. Um, it was like $3,600 for, to frame the two rooms. So, with the insulation, we're up to around 10. Um, I'll give you a breakdown at the, at the very end when we're all done and we're doing the, the debrief and the recap. I'll run through 
everything I spent because I'm I'm supplying a lot of the materials too, right? Like. Um, we're going to put clips up on the ceiling, and I'm supplying those, so we'll talk about how much those cost and what your options are there. Um, I want fancy outlets, and so I'm supplying all the outlets, and we'll talk about why I did that, and la la, as we go. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep you updated every day, just so we can have um, the process. You can see what I did. This is definitely not going to work for everybody. Um, if you're more handy than I am, maybe um, maybe rock wool makes more sense to you than spray foam. If you don't have 12 inch on center joists, maybe rock wool makes more sense than spray foam. Um, we'll talk more about spray foam once it once it's done, once the open cell is done, we can talk about it. Um, yeah, all right. So I think that's it for today. I'll probably have another update uh, tomorrow. Electrician is coming back today. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if they're done with, with the rough in of the electrical today. And um, maybe open cell spray foam later this week. Uh, I really lucked out. My electrician had, it's 2022, and so everybody is busy and scheduled to the hilt. But my electrician had a, one of their clients went on vacation for this week, just out of the blue. So I lucked out there. My builder had a cancellation. So lucked out there, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, this might be done in a couple weeks and, and oh boy, that's exciting. All right, I will see you guys all again real soon, bye.